We're gonna watch this ad from HalloweenCostumes.com. You can tell me your thoughts. Here are the three reasons why retail stores don't carry plus size costumes. One, they have a limited retail space. Compared to a warehouse like this that can carry 10 times the amount of product. Number two, factory minimum order quantities. So many factories want thousands of pieces per size or per order. We solve this by having our own factories so we can determine our own minimum quantities. Three, the design process is a bit more work. Most retail stores will carry jumpsuits or some simple design, which is a bit harder to scale, where we focus on making things come with shirt and pants, which is better fit and easier to scale. If you want more plus size costume variety, we have over four. I'm sure. I mean, over what I just heard right there, that seems pretty logistical, man. Uh, the fact that you don't have a lot of shelf space, therefore the stuff you put on the shelf hopefully is the stuff that you're going to sell most of. So you're probably going to be reducing the amount of plus size selection because plus size people don't go into stores. And also plus size costumes in general are going to take up more uh, shelf space in general because they lo they are literally bigger. And then also the logistical side of it, right? It's just better overall to have more of the smaller sizes. I mean, you, you heard everything he has to say. I mean, I'm really wondering what this person has to say in order to debunk it. Um, I've been really watching a lot of this person's content over the last like week or so and i almost can't believe how dumb this person is it almost kind of seems like every time they make a video i'm always more and more surprised at the sheer amount of stupidity this person emanates off themselves and they do it so confidently as well. I, every time they make a claim, they always say like, but I'm not saying this to like, you know, just to say shit. I would prefer if you did. I would prefer if you did just say random words and somehow they, they culminated together to form a cohesive sentence because that would be actually way, way, way better than whatever you do because if you're actually formulating these sentences in your brain and there's a rhyme or a reason to it, that is actually unbelievable given the fact that half of the things you say are completely hogwash. But anyway, I'm willing to listen to her sure that this is like well-intentioned because they actually do carry a really good selection of plus size costumes like why would you assume it's not well-intentioned that person didn't see i didn't see any malicious intent in that person at all they were just going over like the reason why most of the time they just do not have plus size selections in stores and if they do have them they're going to be limited so why the fuck would you ever assume that that there's malicious intent there you carry a really good selection of plus size costumes like they have a lot more than other places do but like do you have a plus size person working for you that you could have run this by why do you what are you talking about dude that'd be like me going like that'd be like me owning a company and then selling lo like wachata and going down to like the local, I don't know, like going down to the bottom floor and then hitting up the Mexican guy that like, I don't know, like copies papers and be like, hey, listen, Enrique, um, we're, we're about to start selling wachata. Is this okay with you? Like, can you authenticate this wachata? Can you like take a sip or two just to really make sure it's got the, color the correct blend of, I know you might be busy right now with your whole you know, quinceanera and leche and all that other stuff, whatever you guys do down there. But can you please like authenticate this, this wachata for us just in case? Why does it matter if he ran this by a plus size person? Are you working under the assumption that all plus size people have like a hive mind, a hive mind brain and they're all thinking com commutatively? Is that what you're working off of? That's, you know, that's not the case, right? You do understand that plus size people are individuals, right? Most, pl most people that are fat do not want to be fat. So when you sit there and you go, did you run this by a, a fat person? Why would I have to do that? What is the, what, what are you drawing towards on that one? What is the implication of that? That all fat people think the same way? Are you actually stupid? Or like, whoa, whoa, how exactly are you gonna, you gonna cope with this? Go, please, please explain this away. I would love to know exactly how you're gonna make this make sense. I have a plus size person working for you that you could have run this by first because the vibes are just like not it. Saying that places have limited retail space is just reiterating that places don't carry our size because there's no room for us because we don't matter. Like, it's just... It's reiterating that we don't matter. What? But you didn't say anything that had to do with being a plus size person. Can you explain why the plus size person thing? Why was that relevant at all? Why did I have to? Dude, dude, why do I have to tell a plus size person that we're about to start selling Halloween costumes and just run it by that plus size person that works for me? Hey, just to let you know, we're selling costumes and they're plus. Can you watch this video real quick just to ensure that it's like, 
I don't know, presentable. You're my diversity hire, obviously. You're fat AF. So can you please like watch this video and just ensure that it's diverse enough? Like just make sure I'm hitting all the, the correct diversity talking points. What are you fucking talking about, bro? What, what are you even saying right now? You didn't even touch on that shit. You literally brought it up and completely completely just avoided it as if what you just said wasn't even relevant at all you know, did you like walk this by a plus size person because dude like the fact that you're bringing this up and saying there's not enough space on the shelf oh my god i can't believe it like, you just don't have enough space for us that's literally what he's saying yes that is actually what he is saying plus size people do not shop in these stores therefore we don't put the clothes that that plus size people wear on shelves and also it's more clothes so we have to order more it's harder to develop for plus size people because we don't know if your sizes are going to fit everything across the board. So it's very difficult for us to sell these clothes. Why did you even bring up a plus size worker? What does that have to do with anything, bro? Again, like this person is just stupid. I don't know, man. But they say stuff so confidently. So I guess like a lot of people will watch their, their stuff and be like, yes, queen. Yes, slay. Diversity. 100%. Yes, 100%. Oh my god, that guy is so bad. I can't believe he's being logistical about his company and trying to make it money and... You know, ensuring that his shareholders are being compensated. <laughs> we don't matter. Like, it's just... It's victim. a reiterate. You're a victim. You're a victim. Oh, they don't make costumes for us, even though I'm so fat, and even though I can lose weight, and even though I can just eat less, and I don't have to get the Dave's Triple from Wendy's. I don't have to, but you know what? I'm going to still body slam that Dave's Triple. Oh, my mouth. The meat patties just be hitting the spot. That should be, oh, my God. I don't wear Vaseline. I just be spreading Dave's doubles across my mouth. Oh, that should be tasting so good. Just... <laughs> Oh. that we don't matter you don't matter so how do you feel about that you don't matter you don't matter you're nothing you're a nobody you're just like everybody else okay we're all people trying to make our way in the universe all right and you're sitting here thinking you're so special that you deserve shit but you don't you just don't okay be like the rest of us all right if you want shit to fit then lose some weight dude it is what it is that guy went over it pretty well i don't know how you didn't understand it, it seemed like you pretty you seems like you understand it but you just wanted to find a reason to not so right, go ahead bro and next time by the way make sure you bring your plus size friend to really go over the the ad thanks for you know plus size people have some kind of intrinsic knowledge i guess i'm not really sure again being like Stores don't care your size because they don't care about you. Well, he didn't say that necessarily, did he? He just kind of said, hey, listen, we don't have the clothes in store because they take up a lot of shelf space. A lot of fat people don't come in. It's very hard to develop this stuff for fat people because we don't necessarily know how to like appropriately fit it on these people. Like, did you not hear anything he said? Like that, the ad wasn't even that long. It was like maybe 30 seconds at most. And did you just like completely ignore everything that he said and just deduce that he's like a terrible person because he's not selling plus size stuff, even though he perfectly articulated the reason why that stuff's not on the shelf to begin with? Are you actually retarded or like, are this you coming out of like, is this, is this, is this the video that you're using to like tell everybody like, listen, even though I've been making content on the internet for like two years, I'm functionally uh, mentally di di disabled. Like, I, I don't know how I managed to make it this far. Me opening the app is actually an anomaly. I have no idea how I even recorded this video right now. Um, it's crazy. It's uncanny. I don't know how I was able to do this stuff. Is this, is this that video? I'm waiting for it. And it's also reinforcing the idea that, like, there aren't as many of us. Well, there are a lot of you guys, um, by, you know, obviously by, you know, volume. But, uh, and density, of course, yeah, there's a lot and a lot, but, uh, like, again, it's just hard to develop for you guys. There's not a lot of you guys going into the stores buying shit. Like, you guys ain't walking around for Halloween. Let's be honest here for a second. 70% of women in the U.S. are plus size. What about men? I'm sick of talking about women. Let's talk about some men here. Some solid men, too. Big men. Big, meaty men. Men with a lot of hands. A lot of meat. I mean, not a lot of meat. A lot of meat as in the sense of, like, they're bigger guys. You know, a lot of, uh, fat guys, fat guys, fat guys. <laughs> So, statistically, there are a lot of us. The whole quantities thing, again, there's a lot of us. So, it would stand to reason that if you needed to order a certain quantity, that wouldn't really be an issue. Well, the issue is, like, the, if you order a lot of quantity and then you don't come in and you buy it, then you just kind of sit there with quantity. And especially for something like Halloween costumes, which are only seasonal, like they're supposed to, they're supposed to buy them and then they're supposed to sell because if you hold on to Halloween costumes from like year to year, you're just losing money. So of course, when you buy a lot, you want them to sell and you guys don't come in and buy. So why the fuck would I order a ton of them if none of them are going to sell? Do you not understand that? Like, is that, how do you not 
Like, how do you not understand that? And, like, the design issue? Like, are we talking about starting with an X small and grading it all the way up? Then, yes, you are going to have a design issue. But, like, what kind of... What are we talking about? I just... I feel like they could have done such a different video. So, what we're talking about... Are, are you... <laughs> Why are you purposely making it seem like you don't know what they're saying? You know what they're saying when it comes to the, the design issue. It takes more designers. It takes more product. It takes more everything in order to make these clothes. So, like, I'll give you a really good example. If you make it a one piece and you make it in XXXXX large, there's no guarantee that those, those clothes are actually going to fit you because maybe you, for instance, this woman has a lot of lower body, right? She said after she gave birth to her son or whoever, um, her lower body expanded like crazy. So she holds a lot of weight in her lower body in comparison to the top part of her body, right? So if you put on that one piece, that Halloween costume, that's a one piece. Maybe you're dressing up as the Mandalorian. <laughs> you know, maybe you're dressing up as Darth Vader. Who knows? I don't fucking know. You're putting on that Darth Vader outfit and it's a massive XXXX large, like a 9X, right? You put it on, maybe it fits pretty well on the top. Sorry, pretty well on the bottom because your legs are fucking ginormous. But on the top, it's just so movable because they're trying to compensate extra for how much you could be weighing on the top and the bottom. So, given that, it's just not plausible. Once you start getting higher and higher on the weights, it becomes drastically harder to contour clothes to your body. When you're a thinner person, if you're a small, medium, large, extra large, once you're in these like conventional sizes, it's pretty easy because like overall, you follow the same basic idea of what a body structure should look like. You have the basic torso, you have the basic legs, most things are straight in general, but when you become leg, it's harder because you have extra and it's massive too and it's not proportional. So when you sit there and you go, what do you, how does this even work? You know how it works. You're just being purposely ignorant to make it seem like you don't know that way. So that way you're like, I don't get it. Like, what is so hard about that? You know what's fucking hard about that shit, dude. Come on, bro. You're literally in a unique class. You people are literally dynamically sized. To make customers like more informed and be like hey we just really want to include you because we know other stores don't and that sucks why would they do that though if they don't need to do it like with just just for the shits and gigs like there's a reason why those other stores don't sell it because it doesn't make money so why would i be like the robin hood of fat of fat clothes to be like oh yeah i'm gonna sell this stuff even though it doesn't sell so you know just to make you guys feel good but i don't ever get recognition for it because you guys don't focus on that you guys focus on the places that don't sell this video <laughs> we know that you're an underserved part of the population and you should be included in everything like well not everything right like you guys won't be able to like run track and stuff like that or like walk upstairs in a quick format i feel like they i don't care what you feel just want to point it out i don't know what that really means and here. you should be included in everything like i feel like they went with the stereotypes and people in the comments are like you're so inclusive like it just i i feel the same way when i watch a lot of these plus size creators make videos victimizing themselves so many people in the comment section are just sucking the nutsack of these people i mean literally glazing these people and i would always say the same thing like make sure you tell that creator to put a condom on for all the dick riding you're giving that person dude because if this person could be literally saying the most hogwash ass shit the most deplorable sentences but because they say it in a nice way a lot of people think it's good it's not it's not how that works at all. I would much rather somebody say something to me uh, that's truthful in a very derogatory way than somebody say something that's very, very disgusting in a very nice way. So this person saying all this shit can equally be put upon them. When you look in their comment section, they go, oh my God, yes, queen, you are totally correct. Oh my God, these stores are so crazy. They don't serve plus size community. Oh my God, I just have a meatball that fell, fell on my leg. You have a whole bunch of people in these comment sections saying that shit. And it's the same thing. Like you're complaining that people in the comment section are saying that that's okay. And then the same thing is applying to you by the way teeth whitening strips that's all i'm gonna say okay dude just some teeth whitening strips this was not the way to go why not though you're not gonna articulate it i'm still wondering about that plus size friend i'm still worried about that plus size employee and what they can contribute to the the company halloween for everyone for a, a, a person of um average size they get to they get to disappear. They get to be whoever they want to be. When you're plus size, you get to pretend to be other fat people. <laughs> for Halloween, for the average size person, they get to pretend to be anything they want. They even get to pretend to be fat people. They do. How many people will dress as a sumo wrestler, right? So, like, I mean, we can't, like, reduce your fat on size. Like, if you wanted to say, for instance, dress up as Gandhi and you're a plus size man or a big man, 
it's gonna be hard to do that because like nobody's gonna know that it's Gandhi. Like you're just you know you're massive, you're ginormous. So it's kind of hard to be looking at you like, hey, what the fuck are you, bro? What are you like an Indian like chef chef guy? Like <laughs> you know what are you, bro? And like oh yeah, I'm Gandhi. I'm like what? You know, Gandhi what, dude? Like what are you talking about? Gandhi like now after he like died and imploded a little bit? What are you talking about, bro? Like a beach whale? No, it's not. It's like a tanned beach whale. Uh, so obviously. Fat, fat, thin people can dress up as fat people because it's easy to put on a fat suit or it's easier. It's, it's kind of impossible to reduce your fat, like, right there. So when you say, like, oh, they can dress up as fat people, we can't dress up as anybody but fat people, that's your own fault. Like, what are we supposed to do about that? Like, what the fuck? Like, what am I supposed to do about it? How am I supposed to help you on that? Like, what am I supposed to do in order for you to dress up as a person that you want to dress up as, even though you can't? Like, it's impossible for you. What am I supposed to do? I can't do shit about that. Lose some weight. God damn, bro. All these issues can literally be all, all of them can be improved by you losing weight. Can't fit Halloween costumes? Oh, lose some fucking weight. Oh, don't want to dress up as a fat person? Fine. Lose some fucking weight. You want to dress up as a fat person while being a thin person? Then lose some weight. If you don't want to just dress up as fat people, lose some fucking weight. Oh, you want your health to improve? Lose some weight. Bro, it's just like, what? how is it this easy for me? to sit there and tell you all the things that you could be doing in order to be improving yourself. And it's just like, you're just sitting here on a podcast, just telling people how terrible your life is because you can't dress up as Obi-Wan Kenobi, but instead you can dress up as Pizza the Hut. They even get to pretend to be fat people. They do. How many people will dress as a- You know what, I'm sick of these podcast hosts too, dude. What's that other guy doing on his podcast? Is he not gonna say shit back? Is he not gonna like counter this? Like, oh yeah, well like, but you know, like, hey dude, you know, if you wanna dress up as like somebody else or something, why don't you just lose weight then if that's the case like why is, it shouldn't be that like i get it like everybody's a pussy nowadays and nobody wants to say what they actually want to say but it should be said that guy this guy's living in a facade sumo wrestler right as a fat person halloween is oh you could be anything you want as long as they enjoy food so i type into <laughs> google it's costumes for plus size men first it seems like he's slurring a lot like it's the corners of his mouth seem really wet first one is newman <laughs> who's newman Second one is Newman from Jurassic Park. <laughs> oh, Newman from Jurassic Park. Oh, okay. Yeah, the guy that was played in uh, Steinfeld. Okay. Yeah. Um. So, I mean, you want to dress up as Newman? Fine, I guess. I mean, there are a bunch of plot. You can um maybe, I don't know, dude, like a really big dinosaur then, I guess. Maybe like from Jurassic Park. I don't know, dude. I don't know many fat characters. Maybe uh, like, uh, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Like. Oprah Winfrey, 2007. Cultural appropriation, maybe? <laughs> What's his name? Dennis. He doesn't even know. Like, he doesn't even know who this guy is. Nerd. Uh, Nedry. <laughs> so, the first. Like, he's he's laughing, but I guarantee he doesn't even know who that is. Like, he's saying that, and he's like, huh, wow. Like, this guy's like, what, 21, 22, 23? I bet he's never even seen Steinfeld a day in his life. He has no idea who Newman is. Like, even I didn't even know who Newman was. But then I think, like, Newman from Jurassic Park is like, oh, yeah, okay, I remember Newman now. It's a guy that got, like, the, the, the venom in his eyes and, you know, got eaten in the car. Like, okay, I remember that, right? This guy that was eat, like, eating pizza and shit like that, and he was trying to, like, sell the eggs. Like, I get it. Okay, I know who that is right now. Because I've watched Jurassic Park, like, a whole bunch of times. So, you know, like, here in America, we watch movies. Okay, like, you guys don't know. I know a lot of people sit there and say, like, oh, what does America have in terms of culture? We got films we got movies okay we make a lot of movies every single year and we watch a lot of movies every single year that's our culture so if you don't know what these movies are then you're, you're failing as an american dude watch more movies know who actors are that's our culture anyway what's his name <laughs> dennis nerd uh, nedry <laughs> so the first two are newman and, and newman from jurassic park what's three newman from space jam <laughs> You literally get to pretend <laughs> to be Steve any Newman. fat person you want. Here, son, Halloween, a time where you can pretend to be anyone that is your body type. Or you could just say, hey, son, uh, I know you want to dress up as, I don't know, Heath Ledger from the Joker, but you can't because you're fat as fuck. So you can maybe dress up as the penguin from the Joker, but um, you're a little bit too big for that because Danny DeVito wasn't even really that fat and he had to wear a fat suit. You're way too big for that. How about we just like focus on losing weight so you can actually dress up as a thing that you want to dress up as instead of like, you know, having an obese child? I understand that's like a fun and games, all jokes and stuff like that, but it's actually pretty serious. I hate Halloween. I've been fat my entire life, and there's no other holiday that makes me feel as shitty and as excluded as this one. Yeah. I would have thought it would have been like uh, 
probably Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving you're eating a lot and I feel like these people already eat Thanksgiving on a daily basis and like they're just kind of like eating the basically the same food they eat every single day in general. So I that's what I would have thought. But I guess Halloween, yeah, totally, totally. Go ahead. Oh, I'm dead. That's getting emotional. So sorry if I cry during this. Shouldn't be crying about this shit. You're a grown woman crying about the fact that you're so fat you can't find Halloween costumes. Like, dude, get the fuck over. You you're literally an adult. You know, it's look, it's fine. I'm not gonna shun anybody for crying. Go ahead and cry. But I would really suggest if instead of crying on the internet, especially on TikTok or other platforms such as this, how about you instead cry to your mom? How about you cry to your dad? How about you cry to your friends, your boys, your girls, whoever? Somebody that you can confine into, somebody that's not going to judge you overly, somebody that's going to be there, somebody that's going to be comforting, somebody that's going to tell you the right things, right? Instead of the internet, <clears throat> Uh, not the internet. No, the internet's like really vindictive and it's pretty malicious. I mean, great. Granted, there's a lot of great people out there, but uh, there's a lot of terrible shitty people out there, and it's gonna be more most of the time the really shitty people. But uh, being an adult and sitting here and talking about something, I'm about to cry uh, because of a video. <sighs> You got some unresolved issues, bro. Maybe, like, therapy. I don't know, man. Like, go go talk to somebody about it. It doesn't have to necessarily be, like, Robin Williams from Good World Hunting. You could find anybody. Like, your mom, your dad, your family. Anybody, bro. Any of these people would be better than the internet. As excluded as this one. Y'all, I'm dead. That's getting emotional, so sorry if I cry during this. This holiday just brings up so many negative memories because as a kid, and I know every fat person can agree... There were no costumes for us. And I know that may not seem like a big deal to most- Man, you, you, It's just like, you're just throwing out your insecurities, bro. Like, oh yeah, when I was like nine, I had a I had a Christmas party and like somebody threw a, a I don't know, a frisbee at my head. So now every, every Christmas I cry because that one time when I was nine, that kid threw a frisbee at my head. And you know, by the way, also when I was nine, my uncle, he, like he, he touched my butt cheeks too. It's like, what are you, what are you fucking even talking about at this point? Like, what do you, come on, get, get the fuck over it, dude. Like you're crying over the fact that you couldn't find Halloween costumes costumes when you were eight you're a grown-ass fucking woman and you look like a majin boo from from the from the boo arc dude get your shit together bro you good you're good bro yeah right. there's plenty of people you could dress up as i don't know why you've been struggling with this for so long that you haven't realized that the solution here is to lose weight so you can fit into the clothes that everybody else was fitting into yeah solve your own problems not complaining about it why are you externalizing everything people but it was for every little kid out there. I didn't have any fat friends growing up. There. I mean, there. Yeah. I mean, it's not good to be fat as a child. So. All skinny, and I just remember. Good on those parents for taking care of their kids, huh? Having to match with all of them, doing a group costume, and never being able to participate because not a single costume fit me. I think it's interesting when I hear people talk about stuff like this because I'm always thinking like, what do you mean like group costumes, dude? Like all my friends when they dressed up for Halloween, they just wore the same shit or maybe like baggier clothes. I, I was friends with like solid black guys. So like they came in dressed like Soldier Boy or like their favorite rapper or something like that. And then like I didn't dress up as anything in particular, like maybe uh, like a bloody baseball player or something like that. I don't know. So when, when I see people go like, oh, what did you dress up as? I think I stopped dressing up when I was like, nah, let me think, 11? Um, after that, I was just like going around, tossing eggs at people's houses, wearing a Burger King hat. And then that was it. Like, that's what I did. We just, you know, that's, that's all we did. We were delinquents. So I can't really relate to this. Maybe you guys had a better upbringing than me, but I was a fucking asshole. Dude, I was egging people's houses. I was ding dong ditching people. I was fucking putting whipped cream back into people's, uh, gas caps back when you can un uncap the caps. You can't do that anymore. But I was fucking with people, dude. I used to literally save eggs. I used to take eggs like a month before and I would just have them out for like a month. And then I would just take those eggs and I would just toss them at people's fucking windows and shit for no reason. I was a terrible person, dude. Don't look down upon me. I was like 12 or, uh, or like 13 or 14, okay? That was a long time ago. I'm better now. I don't do that anymore. And even now there's more options for plus size people, but they're still so limited. And I know there's bigger issues in the world than- Like losing weight. Yeah, like losing weight. Finding a costume that fits you. But okay, that's true. But I also don't like it when people do this where they go, I'm having these issues. And then somebody goes i know you're having these issues but like you have to put this in context there are people in the world right now that are literally dying from like missile attacks like your problem is meaningless in comparison to that never do that you're an asshole if you do that shit yes there are bigger things going on in life but that's not the way to relay that information okay uh there, there just because there are bigger things going on doesn't mean whatever you're going through isn't justified doesn't mean that whatever you're going through isn't something that you're you should be taking time to deal with i'm, I'm sick of people just doing that shit i really despise it because it really devalues everything that somebody's saying don't be an asshole yes there are bigger things going on in the world but then again so the fuck what i'm gonna deal with this shit okay never being able to participate in a holiday that everyone apparently loves and you're like 30 right uh so like why don't you just lose weight so you can like 
participate or whatever. I'm like, oh, are you so fat still? Like, how are you still big and you haven't dealt with this shit? Like, you can, you're fat, right? So, like, just lose some fucking weight and then you'll be able to, like, fit in clothes and stuff like that. Why are you so stupid? Like, how did you make it this far in your life and you never realized that if you just lost weight, you would be able to fit in clothes like all your friends did when you were in school? Dumb. They're supposed to enjoy really sucks. There's also a second reason I hate Halloween candy. I have so many negative memories about trick or treating and candy distribution. One of my most embarrassing or traumatic memories was going trick or treating with all my friends who, like I said, were skinny. And the lady at the door. And you were like out of breath from simply walking from house to house. I could see it. Or it was like, hi, everyone. You know, saying hi, whatever, giving everyone candy. And then she looked at me. She gave me a full body check and literally said in front of everyone, you don't need this. Damn. Tough. That's tough, bro. Uh, doing the things your parents should have done. If I'm being honest, dude. If I'm being completely honest, I know that's going to sound real fucked up, but it is what it is, dude. You can't sit here and be complaining that you can't fit into Halloween costumes and then sit there and blame it on anybody but your parents, especially when you're a children, dude. That's a factual statement. Your parents should have been the one that told you or not told you. They should have been the people there that were active on your weight loss. Why didn't they do anything about it? They saw a fat child and they were like, yeah, even though this is like terrible for my kid, it's probably setting them up for a lifetime of failures and, uh, you know, inadequacies health-wise. Yeah, no, it's fine. This is totally okay. Totally fine. Okay. What those people were doing, I mean, it's, it might seem fucked up. It is. But you know, where were your parents at? What were your parents doing? I was eight years old. This middle-aged woman literally gave me, an eight-year-old, a body check and then said I couldn't participate. I didn't deserve candy like everyone else. Like I said, candy distribution also sucked. You know, at the end of the night, when you and your friends lay out all your candy and kind of trade, I hate Nope. Didn't do that, dude. I just kind of... <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I'm just different, dude. But I would take my shit back home and I'd toss it on the floor and I'd eat my shit and then I'd go to sleep. I hated that moment so much. Because even though I was trading candy like everyone else, I would constantly get snarky ass comments. How I should just get rid of all my candy. How I'd be doing myself a favor by giving it all away. Well, kids are going to be assholes. Kids tell you the honest truth regardless of whether or not they think it's valid or not. They just start talking to you about random shit. That's what I love about children so much is that they're so incredibly vivid. And the way that they explain stuff. And they just tell you unneeded information for no reason other than just to tell you unneeded information. So, you can't really blame the kids. I mean, I understand what you're saying. It's traumatizing. But it is what it is. Like, you were a child. They were a child. They're going to be shit. You're going to be shit. I'm sure you did a lot of bad things and they did a lot of bad things. I don't think it's a right move to be sitting here talking shit about these kids at that age. It is what it is, ultimately. But again, I would like to stress, where were your parents at? Like, what would a kid, you know, after this happened when you was eight, right? Did you go back home? I'm so, I'm assuming you went back to some adult's house. Was there no parent there that was like, oh, you know, Margaret, uh, you know, your daughter, she kind of, damn, she kind of big. Like, she bigger than my, she, she bigger than my wife. Like, you know, how old is she? Eight years old? Damn, god damn, bro. Uh, yeah, like, she's, you know, you, you, know, you ever think about, like, maybe helping her out a little bit? Like, she big as hell. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Like, reduce the calories a little bit. Jesus. And I think the worst comments were actually from other parents. Who are like, oh, beware of Kiara. She might take your candy. Like, true. Fat people are fucking humans. We're not monsters. But That's true, dude. Um, I don't look down upon fat people in that particular way. I would say, though, that your parents failed you. That's some factual state. That you, you, why, why didn't your parents do shit about this? Why didn't they instill these values in you? Like, I get it. We're all, like, not perfect human beings. But damn, this is a failure, bro. But on this holiday in specific, I don't know why it was always made to Like, I'm sure that her parents are great people overall. And, and, like, generally speaking, I'm sure they're fine. But this is a failure, dude. Having your child be fat or obese as a child, you literally got... If you're fat as a kid, you're fat for the rest of your life. It takes a long time to get that out of you. You're like one. And I'm, you may never do. I'm not sure if comments like those are a universal experience or just me. But fuck, they were so shitty. And I also forgot to mention the fact that whenever you eat a single piece of fucking candy like every other kid... You're the only one who gets judged. You're the only one where people are like, whoa, slow down. You're going to eat that much? I'm on a diet. I could never eat that. Like At eight? <laughs> At eight? Damn, bro. What the fuck? Who are these kids? I'm on a diet right now? Who are you? Regina George is your best friend, dude? Good bitch, more for me. So if you're a fat person who also hates Halloween, just know you're not alone. I'm sending extra love to you and your inner child today. Thanks. Have a good day, besties. Love you. So I decided I'm going to share part of my fat experience, and that is... The complicated relationship I have with um, Halloween. I am someone who should love Halloween. I love spooky. I Cause you look like a witch. Let me stop. I love theater. I love all of it. But Halloween's always been tricky because I want to dress up. I want to have these amazing costumes and I want to do all of these things. 
but doing those things as a fat person is so much harder. Let me correct you. Everything is gonna be harder as a fat person. Everything that you do in general is gonna be difficult. It doesn't matter what it is. Even if it was something simple as playing a video game with a controller, your fingers are gonna be way fatter. It's gonna take more energy or maybe even take more muscle capacity to lift that finger up and put it back down. So everything in general is gonna be harder for you as a fat person. Somehow you made it to 40 years old and you have done nothing about it, which is beautiful. <laughs> wow, what a testament to somebody's inadequacies. It's so much harder. Uh, you can't just go to Goodwill and throw together a costume. Just going to Goodwill to get anything other than bed bugs. You can't order a costume unless you order from a specialty store months in advance. Like, you have to start planning your Halloween costume. So if you notice, right, if you know that you have to do all this while you're fat and you still didn't do it, isn't it just your fault? Like, what do you, like, what am I, even, I'm not, I don't feel bad for you. I don't. Like, you, you're literally telling me that all the things that you can do in order to get these costumes, but you still didn't do anything about it. And then also you're fat as fuck, so you're just not doing anything about it either. So like, what am I supposed to do about that? And this is just like a video just to make you feel better about the fact that you're fat and that like you're, you have, you're a victim, you're victimizing yourself. Like, I don't care, like whatever, bro. I get, you know what I'm saying, dude? <laughs> like, I don't fucking care. And like, you did this to yourself. You're a grown woman, lose your weight. July, if you're a fat person, if you want to really do it good. And unless you can sew, which I mean, I can sew, but that's not the point. The point is it should not be this hard to participate in a rich part of our culture. So lose weight? I, then what do you want? Like, what do you want exactly? It shouldn't be this hard to participate in our culture, but it's super easy for you to go to Mickey D's or Uber Eats to get that new order of food, right? So, like, what are you talking about? Like, come on, bro. Fix your own issues. That is really hard to participate in when you have a fat body, and it shouldn't be that way. Lose weight. That's all it is. It's so much harder when you're care. fat. I don't care, dude. I, you're, you're, like, you're just complaining at this point, dude. You know, you, you, you just just take your time. Slow and steady wins the weight race, and then you'll, you'll, lose, you'll lose weight eventually. And so I think that that's a pretty common experience that no one really talks about is how hard Halloween can be because it's so – so many things are out of your reach. You can't just go to Spirit and pick up a costume last minute. You can't just go to Goodwill and pick up a costume last minute. You can't – yeah. Whenever people are like, costumes are mandatory, I'm like, well, fine. I guess I'm either going to go as a witch in black clothes and a hat or stay home. I mean, let's be honest. You were going to stay home regardless, dude. You're going to be staying home, depressed as hell, eating that – let's uh, – I don't even know, like Reese's Cups – and you were going to probably watch Love is Blind on Netflix. Let's be honest, dude. You weren't going to go anywhere. Stop acting like you were going to do anything in general. Yeah. So if you have a complicated relationship with Halloween and you want to love it, but it's just too much work, it's okay. A lot of fat people feel that way. Thank you. So, yeah. You really, yes, you made me feel so much better about myself. Now that I know that I don't have to do anything about it and I can just go on TikTok and just complain about things consistently, thank you so much. Oh, I really appreciate you taking the accountability and agency away from me to really ensure that I'm not the only one not doing anything to help myself and then complain about the fact that I have no costumes to wear. Beautiful. And then also do that when you're 40. Yeah. That's just me. I bring up the age because, like, she made it this far in her life. And she's been having the same issue for a, give a large period of her life. And somehow she's done nothing about it. And then she complains about it. So, like, what do you want, dude? Like, what Halloween outfits and fat rhetoric. Part two. Much like the points on who... The body unbelievable. Can't... I don't even understand what that... The bottom is. That I didn't even know pants... Like a like a kangaroo pouch or something like that. Is it anyway, clothing size is completely made up and doesn't matter. I agree. It does. Yeah, it's it is made up. It's pretty fucking. It's pretty bizarre for women, not for men. For the most part, men really just universally fit in same shit. Like it's not really that big of a deal for most of us. Did you need a diet or did you need a therapist? Probably both. Yeah, probably a little bit of both actually. Probably more of the diet than the therapist. If I'm being honest. Well. Let me be honest here. You might need more therapy than you need a diet because I feel like the underlying issues are mostly mental. The diet industry is a capitalist scam that offers no exit strategy and profits from your failures. 
if capitalism is the uh, is the problem there and like the diet industry, what about the people? What about like Uber Eats? What about like these like big fast food companies or like big food chains that are benefiting from literally you going in daily and buying the food? And you can sit there and go, oh, I don't eat fast food. Well, you're eating shit and whatever that shit is, they're benefiting from it. It's always somebody else. It's always another big corporation that's benefiting from you, but not actually the ones that are benefiting from you. The real the the real amounts. Not all bodies are capable of being healthy. Fat loss is Okay, what is the implication there? So like, even though bodies, even though there are some bodies that are not capable of being healthy, that somehow means that you have an excuse to not be healthy because not all bodies are healthy? Are you saying that you think that your body is not necessarily healthy and there's nothing you can do about it? But that's obviously not the truth because you're obese and there's plenty of things you can do about that. That seems like a cop there. That seems like you're just trying to forgive yourself for whatever reason you think. Like it's... Okay, I mean, if it's that easy for you. Positivity demands intersectionality. Just because they're related to you, that does not make their opinion on your body correct. That's true, but they probably are telling you the truth depending on what they're saying, right? I mean, I don't care that they're related to me. If somebody says something correct, it doesn't matter if they're my, my friends or family. You don't need to lose weight to find a partner. Fat people fall in love and get married all the time. Sure, yeah, they, they you don't have to, but it would help tremendously. Uh, it would. Everything that I'm saying also applies to you. I hate Halloween. And I already nominated a bunch of comments saying, oh, you're fat, shouldn't you love Halloween? It's actually because I'm fat that I hate Halloween. Because it was the one day of the year that reminded me of how big I actually was and how no one else was my size. Every year, I'd have nothing to wear because no costumes at the store fit me. So and your parents did what? Like every year you would go and find a costume and your parents would be like, go, oh, well, I guess you can't fit anything. I guess you're fucked again. I guess another year of no Halloween costumes. And that would happen year after year after year and your parents would do what? Just like go, oh, <laughs> oh well. Is that really what it was? Damn, bro. Subtly reminding how shit your parents are. That's terrible, man. Because ultimately it's not her. She can't do anything about it. When you're eight, when you're six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, what are you doing? You can't do anything, dude. You don't make your own money. You work, you live at your house, you live at your parents' house, you eat whatever they give you, you do what they tell you because they're your parents. And here we are, you're just sitting here, year after year, never receiving a Halloween costume, and your parents are just sitting there like, Yep, oh well, that's just what it is. We have a fat child, they can't do anything about it. Nope, that's terrible. That's awful, bro. You're literally like PTSDing this woman year after year because she can't have a Halloween costume because you didn't want to put in the effort to put her on a weight loss plan. But of course, she thinks that's wrong to put you on a weight loss plan, even though that probably would have benefited benefited her tremendously. So my absolutely incredible mother would end up making me a costume. LOL. Slay so your mom would make you a costume, but like, your mom would make you a costume, but okay. Hey, baby, she. But she wouldn't help you. She wouldn't help you lose weight. A homemade Rubik's Cube costume and the wig. When you're a kid, Halloween is like the world's best holiday. You know, you dress up, eat a bunch of candy, have fun with your friends. I feel like when you grow up fat, you're kind of robbed of these simple childhood pleasures. So now as an adult, I don't even know how to- I agree. You grow up fat and you're robbed of that stuff. But who lets you grow up as fat? I feel like even though your mom is great, I'm sure she is great. I'm sure she's an awesome, beautiful, spectacular, amazing organism, but she kind of fucked you up on this one enjoy Halloween. Just acknowledge it a little bit. And that's honestly just my costume trauma. Let me know if you want a part two where I tell you how horrible adults were to me when it came to candy. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, ultimately, I feel like most of this stuff stems from like childhood trauma and their inability to acknowledge that their parents might have failed them in some particular way. Don't uh, don't get me wrong. Parents are flawed individuals and they're not going to be capable of like doing everything perfectly. It happens. OK, like I've seen a whole bunch of shit when I was growing up and it is what it is. But it's our jobs as adults. Once you turn about 18 towards around 25, dude, it's your job to like really dismantle this stuff, to really like understand that, you know, even though your parents fucked you up, um, it's now up to you to make your own decisions in life. Nobody's going to hold your hand. Nobody's going to tell you right from wrong. You're going to do it yourself or nobody's going to do it. So I hope that you're responsible enough to understand that like this weight on your body is not benefiting you. You're consistently complaining about it year in, year out, and you don't do anything about it. And then you keep complaining. What am I supposed to do about that? I don't feel bad. I don't. You're complaining about something that you do yourself. But anyway. Um, thank you for watching today's video. I'd appreciate if everybody can leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff, I would appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in spooky. Ooh, spooky. Ooh. By the way, we're doing a Halloween stream here on the channel. Uh, I'm not doing anything on Halloween. I'm not going anywhere. So I'm going to be streaming here on the channel. So on the 31st, you're going to see me live on that day. We're doing it. I'm dressing up too. Guess what? It's going to be crazy. I'm dressing up as 
I don't know. I'm not going to tell anybody yet. I do have the costume, though. It's ready. It's, I got it. It looks really good, too. I think. I don't know. I haven't fully tried it on yet, but I think it looks okay. But anyway, uh, I know whatever costume that you wear is going to be amazing as well. You're going to wear uh, probably that really, really nice pumpkin outfit, or maybe you're dressing up as, like, Saw from the Saw series, or maybe Scream, or I don't know, maybe like a witch or a cat or an octopus. I don't know. Whatever you dress up as, it's going to look great. You're going to look delightful. You're going to look really smell good of a person. I mean, you just got the emanation of a really, really good person. So I know regardless of whatever you wear, it's going to be distinguished. It's going to be beautiful. And it's going to be spectacular. It's going to be majestic even. So that's awesome. Thank you so much for participating in the Halloween Fest. Uh, if you want to check out my social medias, it will be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.